So hello everyone. So uh, I'm gonna give you my review of three push mower that was tossed away and uh, we picked it up and repaired it. Um, bought some parts online and uh, mowed this yard. So the first day was Tuesday. We, uh, we screwed with the mower, but not new carburetor, cleaning carburetors, new air filters, uh, stuff like that. Uh, oil oil change add a little STP oil treatment in it because it's get really hot here in Texas and I don't want the mower to get burned up um, It runs a little bit better runs a little longer without overheating and actually none of it none of them actually overheat overheated so um, So one of them is uh, both I have two craftsmen and a Husqvarna uh, It was thrown out But the first day we did the front yard and then the second day we did the backyard, I'll show it to you, and today we did the side yard. And we have some way over there that I'm going to have to bring out the commercial mower to take care of on uh, at the far end there on the, side, on the other side of my truck. But as you can see, this is, this is my place. I built it uh, about 10 years ago, drew up the plans, uh, and general managed it. A lot of changes during the build, but... Uh, it was worth it. Anyway, so this property goes all the way down to, uh, gosh, way down there. Uh, and I'm not going to mow down there. Um, and it's pretty rough terrain, so these little, these little push mower did a really good job. Uh, coming up on the mower. And as you can see, it's a pretty big backyard. A lot of sand, so it's hard on the blade. Actually, the blades was all rusty, so the sand kind of polished them up. So that was a good deal. Um, all right, so as you can see, you see that all the way to the, the tall grass over there. Now, keep in mind, these grass was pretty tall uh, when I started mowing. They were about this. Some of them was about this tall, tall here. But this, this is kind of like a um, switch grass. Oh, there's a mushroom right there. See it? Uh, but this, uh, the switchgrass here, it's not too bad to go through. You know, if you mow it low, so it's, it's pretty hard to cut, but if you didn't mow it that low, then uh, it's not that bad. But a lot of this is coastal, uh, coastal Bermuda. And uh, we try other, other grass in here, centipede. Now, centipede's too expensive. It needs a lot of water. Um, St. Augustine. Uh, require is a wide uh, wide blade grass, so it requires a lot of uh, water. So we uh, we seeded this uh, with coastal, and uh, it's done extremely well. And if you if I didn't do that, all this would have been washed down uh, when we do get rain, all right? So uh, so let's talk about the mower. I'll show you the back. It goes all the way up there. And you can see the line, the mow line right there. And uh, all this is my property down here. Look at that. Past, way past that mesquite tree over there. Not the big one, but the other one. But I'm not gonna touch this. I'm gonna have to get out the commercial mower for that. But anyways, all right, let's talk about the mowers. I lost an oak tree a few years back. It was a gorgeous tree too. It's like this one right here. Um, all right, so the first one, uh, that I got was uh, this Harskavarna. And uh, a gentleman gave it to me, this Harskavarna. I'm sorry, I didn't see that. I, did, and it had, I had to watch where I was going. So uh, this Harskavarna here, a gentleman gave it to me. And uh, it wasn't running properly. It was like sputtering. Uh, and the only thing that was wrong with it was the carburetor. It's behind this air filter here. And uh, he took it into uh, the shop. And the guy, all he did was he turned on the choke, put a screw in that hole and uh, kept the choke open and uh, keep it choked open and uh, the thing ran but uh, after a while it didn't run so he gave it to me and all we did was uh, re-tap the screw in the carburetor and uh, bolt it in it was just sucking air um, I didn't even change the filter I didn't even change the spark plug just changed the oil on it and it ran great it has a lot of power the other one that was tossed out was uh, this Craftsman uh, and it has a has a Tecumseh motor on it. Um, 
what was wrong with this was uh, the carburetor was dirty. I bought a new carburetor on it, but after this carburetor was cleaned out, um, uh, took the bowl out, and uh, uh, all kind of gunk came out of it. Uh, and then I put a new filter on it, uh, spray some carburetor cleaner in it, and it, it runs like a champ. And this sucker here is a Craftsman also, but it's got a Briggs & Stratton engine in it. It's a stubborn one. Put a new, a brand new carburetor that I bought online uh, for about 10 bucks, 12 bucks. And a uh, new air filter. You can see it's a new air filter in there. And this thing is just so stubborn. Um, when, it, when, when you do get it to run, uh, it's pretty strong and it won't stop. But uh, just to get it to run is a bear. So, uh, and uh, it ran for two days and uh, I pulled a cord out of it. So I have to replace that cord. It's still a good cord. Uh, and all these mowers I do leave outside, so it is weathered. I did leave, I did leave them outside, so it, it did weather. So, uh, to sum it up, uh, the Harz Kavarna was the, uh, is the best runner. Uh, it's got a Honda engine in it. It's got a Honda engine in it, and it just, it cuts through the tall grass like butter. Uh, you can push it fairly fast, and uh, all of them are in mulching mode. So uh, you can push it fairly fast and it won't die out. Uh, same with the, the Brig. The Brig, when it's running, it's, it's a pretty strong uh, engine. Uh, I do, I also need to, oh, excuse me. I also need to replace the, the prime bulb. I think it's old and it's sucking air so it's not running properly. Um, but, but when it does run, man, it's a pretty strong one. It's not quite as strong as the Honda. It's a little heavier. Um, um, uh, but it's it's stubborn and this thing um, I have no idea if they still make Tecumseh but it's a very good engine uh, it's smooth smooth it starts it doesn't quite start as fast as the Honda but it's uh, it just goes um, six horse it doesn't spin as well maybe I, maybe maybe I'll put new blades in them maybe the blades dull but it does not go through tall grass as easy as the other two um, this one, it, it does sputter out. It doesn't. It, it does not act like it, it's that strong. It, it, it runs, but when you go through tall grass, you have to go slow. Um, so to sum it up, you know, I have no idea why uh, people throw these things out. They run forever if you uh, just change the oil. And uh, the biggest problem is the carburetor. Keep your oil change and uh, and. Uh, Keep your carburetor clean. Use, you know, I mean, clean it off before you put gasoline in them because you're gonna throw a lot of dirt into uh, the gas tank and then it, it's gonna clog up your jets and your carburetor. But outside of that, you know, uh, I'm sure these things are pretty old. I, I'm, I don't know how old they are, but they gotta be over five, six years old. I know these two is probably 10 plus years old and uh, this one's probably six years old. But anyways, um, we pushed it. Uh, lawn mow from. We pushed it mower yard from. Uh, God, I'm tired. Uh, from uh, toss away lawn mowers. I haven't purchased a mower in so so long. I mean, I bought the big riding mowers. I have two of them in the garage, but we just want to do the test uh, on this uh, on this yard. All right, guys. I babble long enough, so uh, you guys have a good one. I'm out of here.